So we are in a, a very secret location in East London because we have a very special secret session for you guys now. Yeah. Jamie and Commons, welcoming back to Secret Sessions and ex ambassadors performing. Man, this tune, Jungle, it is everywhere at the moment. So thank you so much for uh, performing that for us. Thank you for having us, man. So let's talk about this track, Man Jungle, which is, like I said, is absolutely everywhere at the moment. It's, it's taken over. Uh, let's go back to the beginning and literally how it started, how you put this track together. Um. Well, it kind of came together uh, just through a series of, of emails, really. I mean, our, our producer um, had this track, and he had sent it to me, and, and I had written this chorus to it, and I wasn't really sure what it was going to turn into and uh, where he was going to, where he wanted to go with it. Um, I, he was in the studio with a, a bunch of different rappers at the time, so I thought it was going to be a hook for a rap song. And then... Uh, uh, Alex and Jamie were in the studio together and uh, I get a call saying that you know Jamie had written these incredible verses over over the track and, and I was like I want to hear it and I heard it and it was better than anything I ever could have imagined it was really really amazing <laughs> no for real it was it was like it was That's like oh my god all right this is what this track is supposed to be um, and uh, yeah so it was very 2014 the way it, it unfolded you know it was, yeah. I hadn't even met Jay we hadn't even met before, yeah. before the, you know, we performed it for the first time. But you have the, so yeah. you have the same same producers then. We're on, the, we're on the same label, and um, yeah, he's uh, run by a guy called Alex the Kid, which is a Kid in the Corner record through yeah. Scope. And um, I think on the label at the moment, it's us. Oh, it's me, you guys, um, Imagine, Dragons. Imagine Dragons, and Skylar Gray. Skylar Gray. Yeah. Oh, yeah. some amazing acts there. Then, yeah. sort of just yeah, there. It's cool. yeah. I mean, he's, he only started up about I think two years ago now. So um, yeah, he's, he's really making some headway with it, and you know, hooking us up and hooking up all this, trying to get as much integration between the arts as possible. We just played with Imagine Dragons in Paris a couple of days ago, which is really nice. Cool. And these guys, they've got they've gone on tour with them before, but it's the first time I met them and. You know, a lovely bunch of lads. <laughs> <laughs> lovely bunch of lads. Very, very British of you. Yeah. Saying it like that. Um, so, so with, with, um, with the track then, if you had the idea and, and you had the lyrics, did you then have to sort of explain what the song was about to Jamie so then Jamie was able to write? Or is it just everyone's, it, everyone's I mean, take like, on it? I mean, like, the incredible thing about Jamie as a songwriter is that he, you know, like, he locked into the vibe of it immediately, yeah. you know, and, and there was no explanation needed. Right. You know, just did it. I, or I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe Alex gave you some like weird <laughs> definition of the song, but I, you know, like I, for from our perspective, it, it just like happened. And yeah. Jamie's an incredible songwriter. I, I think there's two. I always think of songs in two ways: there's the conscious and the subconscious. And it doesn't matter what the lyrics are. Sometimes, sometimes the meaning of it's different. You know, and the way people sing it and the notes and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just I just heard the inflections on. On Sam's, you know, chorus, and it, it just, it kind of, I mean, I didn't, you know, I never, I never write these things consciously, fully. Anyway, it's like mm. I always kind of look back and be like, oh, yeah. that's what it means, you know. Yeah. Um, so I mean, the, the bigger, the, the better the content is at the start of it, you know, the more you can work off what your brain can do without you actually. Yeah. You know. The easiest way to think about it is just working with what you think sounds good in the moment, right. and then looking back on it, then you can kind of figure out, okay, I guess this is what this song really means to me where this kind of came from. Um, but yeah, I mean, Jamie's right. In the moment, as a songwriter, at least the way that, you know, both of us work, is is that you just kind of come up with what you think, I mean, it sounds really dumb, but whatever sounds really cool to you in the moment. Yeah. And uh, and whatever fits the, the vibe of the song, I mean, that's mm. there. You just gotta find it, yeah. you know, so. And then, I mean, Beats <clears throat> got involved. And yeah. as now, I think, so it became part of this video, uh, well, tell us, how, how, did, how did Beats come to be involved in this track? It was a big hot air balloon that kind of swooped in on both of our houses, and there was a big claw that reached down and picked us up and <laughs> carried us. That's exactly how I imagine uh, Beats works. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big Beats now pill it's been that taken was just over. like floating in the <laughs> air. <laughs> no, it's like, like is, it gonna, is it coming this way? Is it coming this way? Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, that was all Alex. That was all Alex and, and Jimmy Iovine, you know. Uh, Jamie knows the story behind how the song kind of came more more than I do. Um, yeah, I had a very LA moment the other uh, the other day, having just moved out there and bumped into Jimmy Iovine in a bar, right. you know, which is strange. And um, yeah, and I went over and chatted with him and stuff. And he was saying he was just on his treadmill and he was, he was they were trying to find the right song at that time. And the song Alex had given him the song obviously, and um, and it just came on the iPhone when he was jogging there. It was like. 
this is a great workout song so it's, you know got the right kind of mood and tempo and everything mm. and you know and so let's give these guys a chance you know because i mean there was a lot of other bigger bands in for it obviously because it's like the biggest beats advert money spend wise it's ever, ever so it's incredible so it's great that yeah. it gave us opportun- uh, the opportunity and um yeah and that we got to be part of something but you know a campaign that's so amazing and for so many amazing footballers yeah. that i love as well and yeah well, yeah, so it's just really cool. Well, thank God for this guy's treadmill, man. That's uh, that's amazing. And so, what, what do you guys make of this video? I mean, this, like you said, this this World Cup video full of so many stars, and it's so incredible and so impressive. And then you've got you guys have your your music over the top, and it is pretty much probably the most epic video from the entire. It was, it was World pretty Cup. epic. Yeah. I, I I remember we watched it in the car. We we were on the road when we finally got the the final cut of it, and. Oh man, I watched it like four or five times right in a row. It just didn't even sound like our song anymore because yeah. it just had this, these incredible visuals to it. And it oh yeah, it's crazy. It's, it, it's so cool how they're doing it too, how they had this extended five minute version that was up online and that was what they pushed first. And then you know on TV they had the like 20, 30 second advertisements. Um, and it's just, a, I think it's a brilliant way of marketing. One of the first times I heard it, I was watching the England match out in LA and I was, I was, um, I was at an English pub out there. Yeah. Um, oh fuck, I'll give it a plug. It's called Fox, Fox and Hounds. It's a good pub in, uh, in LA. All right. And, um, <laughs> From a good tipple in LA. <laughs> okay. And uh, I was ta- I was, we were sat next to this guy and we was, you know, we were just talking, he was like, worked in films, you know, as everyone does. And he was like, I'm, I was like, I'm a musician. He's like, oh, what, what, what kind of music do you make? And the commercial came on because we were mm. watching the game. I was like, that. <laughs> <laughs> that is very cool. I was like, I was like, it would be so much better if you're like trying to chat up a girl or something. You know what I mean? Just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, why like, was this not a beautiful word. woman going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is me. Oh man, that's awesome. That's but a great story. Yes. I got to ask, uh, Jamie. So the last time I spoke to you, uh, you were about to record your debut album. Whereabouts are we with it? Um, yeah, we're getting there. Um, you know, I mean, it's 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 bits and bobs have done of it and. Um, it's, yeah, we're just work. I'm just working all the time whenever I got time off. You know, yeah. we're, we're doing the promo for this, and this is doing really well now. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's hopefully still coming January uh, or first quarter next year. January time. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about it. It's a bit it's a bit different to what I've been doing before, and um, you know, yeah, it should be really interesting to uh, to get everyone's, everyone's reactions on it. You know, yeah. it's kind of been in the studio hiding away for so long. Yeah, you know? but a lot of people were waiting for it, man. We were, last year, a lot of people were waiting for it. We chatted to you before, and now yeah, yeah, yeah. a year later, we're all still waiting. We're very excited, man. Well, I mean, if we've learned nothing from music, it's the longer an album takes to make, the better it is. Yes, you know, that's, that's absolutely. <laughs> Just ask Guns N' Roses. Just ask Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Chinese Democracy, yeah. masterpiece. Classic. Um, and, and, and you guys as well, yeah. Uh, and you guys as well, I know that uh, so this track is on The Reason. Mm-hmm. EP? It's on the Reason EP. Yeah. And where, whereabouts are we going to be heading next? Uh, we're going to do a full length, and that'll also be, uh, I think, first quarter, as they say in the first biz. First quarter, yeah. First quarter, uh, so January of next year. Um, oh. But we have two EPs that we put out um, over the past year, um, and it'll the full length will comprise of some of those songs, and yeah. we have about like 10 new songs that we have half recorded or fully recorded. And, sort of working we the way we generally work is is uh or i mean we ha- the way we have been working over the past year a lot of the stuff we're doing is on the road yeah. you know so a lot of my vocals i'm recording in hotel bathrooms or mm. in my apartment or in the van yeah. or backstage you know um so it'll be a little bit of that but it'll also be you know because we're going to be doing so much traveling mm. now with, with all this and we're still touring um but we're going to take a couple weeks and and Go back to New York and, and kind of uh, what, what's the what's the term woodshed? No, wood, yeah, go back yeah. to the woodshed. Go back yeah. to the woodshed. Put, put everything uh, out on the table. Yeah, right on the table. Later See what we got. Table, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna go to LA for a week and, and finish uh, put all the finishing touches on it and uh, should be done and ready to go by the end of August. We'll have to go to the Fox and Hounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell yeah. Me Fox and Hounds. Fox and Hounds. And wait for your music yeah. to come on. Yeah. Wait for the tracks to come on. Don't yeah. worry. Oh, man. Um, well, listen, guys, thank you so much thank for, you, uh, thank for you, man. playing for us, especially on what is the hottest day of the year. Oh, oh, it's not that bad. oh you're, I can't believe you're wearing a jacket, man. Hey, man I don't know I how you're doing fresh. it. I gotta stay fresh. I don't know how you're doing it. I've got such a sweat on. Guys, yeah, it's been a pleasure, and thank you for chatting to Seek Sessions. Won't you?